So the muscles that are formed in your faith, that confidence, you are a different person. You do get to get acquainted with a new muscular individual. That's right. You see things about the invisible or inner person of who you are that's different. And God says, I know I'm growing you into the image of my son. That's the beauty. Okay. So you see and recognize mm -hmm. that transformation and it can happen in marriage when you keep going. So as the spouse, I have had to allow room for that process to happen in you. I couldn't make that happen. God has done that. God has done that. God has done that. And then the folks that aren't at that point. It sounds like we're talking about the epitome of grandeur in a healthy marriage. Okay. I want to tell everyone it's not easy. No. And it's hard. There's, there's, there's hard that we work involved. Constantly struggle with and yes, deal with. Absolutely. Now for the people that start taking their eyes off of God mm -hmm. and their spouse is devaluated. Mm -hmm. Okay. They start allowing their heart to wander mm -hmm. or compete against the love they once had in their marriage. And then that moves to emotional infidelity. Yeah. How much are we That's seeing true. that today? When you start looking around, it's easy to develop emotional infidelity, mm -hmm. which then can lead to adultery, mm -hmm. not just adultery in your marriage but adultery of the heart. There's a spiritual adultery against God. True, because yeah, it doesn't have to be a physical affair, but the heart can be so somewhere else, so far away from that person, your spouse. And it, it takes a lot of guts to slay those monsters, to kill those foxes um, in the hen house. 